welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today, as y'all see by the title, we are gonna be trying the Murad Acne Control 30 Day Kit. Yes. So alongside the kit, I'm also gonna be taking a whole bunch of vitamins and I'm gonna be drinking water, you guys. Like the pills I'm gonna be taking will be the Centrum pills. These work so good. I've literally, I just went to the store the other day and I got two more. So I have three of these in total. Like that's how good they are. So these look like this. They are literally gummies and I love them so much. So easy to chew and swallow and they have calories. It's 20 calories per serving. So after I would take those, I would take my iron pills. At first, I used to think you're not supposed to take your know, multivitamins and your vitamin C with your iron pills, but I looked it up, did my research. You can actually take them together. And that's what an iron pill looks like. It's literally the most plainest, blandest pill. Oh my God, and it feels, it's tiny, thankfully. So it's super easy to swallow. And then the other holy grail is our probiotic. First of all, when you open it up, it has like the fluffy stuff in it, but I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the pill size. It is such a small pill. It's so easy to swallow. It will give you like that disgusting taste if you don't eat it with food. There, so there's the cleanser and then the two treats and then there is your moisturizer slash sunscreen. So before we even go get started into all of that, let me say this. So I actually have a routine and I'm gonna show you guys that routine. I have a routine that has actually been working for me. My face actually has been worse. Like it was worse. It was darker. It was like, I literally did not look like myself. I have hormonal acne. I've had hormonal acne ever since I hit puberty. Ever since the hormones started kicking in, the acne came with it as well. And it was one of those things where it's like, just wash your face with water, wash your face with soap. No, we're actually gonna start our Aztec clay mask as well. So really the nighttime is the more fancy stuff because that's when the, um, the face mask will come in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in wash my face with everything and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly what it is that i do okay i feel like i'm getting run over with you guys but take a look at my acne mark my acne scars can i see my acne better on this side yes yes look yes and this side is this side is the worst. Before I get started, I will say these products do have like amazing stuff in them. First of all, the acne treatment is literally just a 2.0 salicylic acid, and that's what's supposed to help the the the, the acne spots. The crazy thing is, so I actually have that, but this one has hyaluronic acid, so it's not going to dry your skin out. This does not have hyaluronic acid, so it's going. Baby, we try to dry my skin off. So this is a clarifying cleanser, and it has 1.5 salicylic. <laughs> it has 1.5 salicylic acid. We're gonna see. I'm excited. I'm scared. Ah. Oh wait, none of this stuff is open. Let's actually open up. I was about to start squeezing. Cleanse, treat, moisturize. This cleans my face. Oh, it's clear, it's clear. Oh my God, it's clear. Okay, let me make sure I don't wanna use too much. I'm gonna start off with a little bit cause y'all know I hate using too much. And it does fall. Okay, see y'all when I'm done. It falls, it falls. We need a little more. Oh, it smells, it smells good. And it falls, oh my gosh. Got fragrance and it has to. Ooh, that's like tingling. That feels more like the 
moisture. It won't get off my face. So y'all can't see it. Okay, y'all. Here's my face. Um, yeah, it's literally not even the end of the day when we still have the nighttime and the mask is really where it's gonna come in and we're gonna see like I know it looks like my face isn't bad, y'all. I swear it's actually so much better than it, it was before. Like, so technically it's really not that bad right now. The cleanser, oh my gosh, like that really felt so good. It was tingly, it felt good, it was tingly. The, um, I was a little confused because my face feels so soft, like so moisturized. I like was so confused. But um, the cleanser, I don't have any of the products with me. I actually put them up. So the cleanser, yeah, that I felt the tingles in my face. If you've ever used Noxzema, it feels like Noxzema but less. The spot treatment, so I did use both today. And then I did the sunscreen. The sunscreen, it smells like sunscreen. And honestly, we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna come back to y'all at the end of the day and let y'all know like if it controlled my oils. And we're gonna be doing the Aztec Indian Clean Mask. So yeah, so I'm gonna see you guys tonight. Howdy folks, okay y'all. When I tell y'all, oils were controlled. This is as oily as my face has gotten today. Oils were controlled. To be fair, I was using a, don't use this if you have oily skin. It literally says for normal to dry skin. Use it to like moisturize your body after you shave or something. Don't get it if you have oily skin. All right, y'all, so when I am mixing this Aztec clay mask, I am being super cautious, and I mean super cautious. Y'all gonna see me, like, go back in with this spoon so many times just because I'm the type of person, I do not like wasting stuff. Um, I like to have, like, the right amount that I need. Don't forget to shake up your Aztec clay mask because when I tell y'all, I be I forget. For Don't forget to shake it up. That's super important because the whole point is the mother. As y'all can see, it's been like my first time in a while doing this. But I said I'm going to be consistent with it because it's it's helpful. It doesn't burn anything like that. And we're going to do it. So, yeah. Y'all going to see me like go back into the clay mask again because I actually, I put too much liquid. But the thing is, it was actually just enough for my face. So, it was honestly okay. There you go. It's pasty now. Anyways, camera's gonna die. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my face. That should be the texture, and it should be a thin layer. Plastic only. Good morning, guys. It has officially been one week. First of all, before we get started, I have to tell you guys why my face looks like this. It looks like I got a chemical pill, right? Because I technically got a chemical pill. Y'all just just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my face. I'm gonna tell you guys what I do. I'm going to tell you what I use. And I'm gonna give you my one week thoughts on these products. Just know I have mixed feelings. My hands smell like tea tree oil. Okay, y'all. While we talk, I'm gonna go ahead and take my vitamins because I have not taken my vitamins yet. And we're also going to add a new vitamin in because your girl is coming up on her monthly cycle. And these are said to help with hormonal acne. So I started noticing the hormonal acne, which is why I said, let's just go ahead and start taking it. I was just not gonna take them all together, but at this point, they're all gonna get taken together. And yeah. So I did take some cleanse tea last night, so I need to make sure to eat. Y'all, I'm just trying to like cleanse my body out. The thing that burnt my skin was tea tree oil. 
this tea tree oil to be exact this is the pure body natural so it's actually for your skin and it's for aromatherapy so it is a legit pure tea tree oil i didn't dilute it you guys i legit just put it straight on my face so mind y'all i didn't dilute it because i had like a big old bump right a big it was humongous and it came out of nowhere i was sick of it and then over here where you see it's kind of still bumpy but they just kept populating and i was just like this stuff is not working. I need something to get rid of this stuff. So I was using a Celex, Celexicit, Celex, y'all, I finally figured out how to say it and I forgot. I was using the Celexilic Acid. I put that on my face. I was even using this, the 30 day stuff that I got. I was putting that on my face like, y'all, nothing was working. Nothing was getting them acne's off my face. So I said, I need something strong. I already looked at this tea tree oil. I will tell y'all, I'm going to recommend you guys tea tree oil if you want like an at-home chemical peel because it literally is basically just a chemical peel. So be careful to avoid any of your areas that are not super oily. And do, do, do dilute this if you do not have oily, acne-prone skin. If your skin is dry, first of all, if your skin is dry, don't even use it. Don't even touch it if your skin is dry. If you have acne and your skin is dry, still don't touch it. If you have any dry skin, do not touch this. If you have combination skin, just make sure you dilute it. I'm not going to recommend it to you if you have dry skin. Even if you dilute it heavily, I'm still not going to recommend it to you. But I didn't dilute it though. You know, I didn't dilute it. You're supposed to dilute it. But y'all, I, I needed it gone. I wanted it gone. And as y'all see, my skin is kind of like peeling. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. So I did change up my routine a little bit. And we're going to go over that in a minute. But let me let you guys know what I just used on my face. First things first, I went in with some turmeric. So the turmeric helps with your dark spots. And I've noticed that although the acne's been going away, there's still dark spots. And you can actually, I don't even have to get up close, you can see them. That one is still big right there. All these on my cheek, these up here, over here. And I need to get rid of those. I'm like, the cleanser is really, really good for removing the acne, but now I need something to remove the dark spots. You get where I'm going with this? You get where I'm, you get what I'm saying? After the turmeric, my face been clean, I went in with the, the niacinamide is actually my new friend that I'm gonna add into my regimen today. I've heard great, amazing things about the Ordinary since the brand first came out, and that was years ago. So we're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna be using this for the rest of the, in, for the rest of the 30 days, and I'm gonna just kinda see what it does, if it'll take the black spots away. It's only day one, so it's not gonna be like a super big change. So after that, I went in with the Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment and the Resurfacing Treatment that came in the kit. Everything else that I used, the rest of it came in the kit. The only thing I did not use that came in the kit was the cleanser. I'll tell y'all why in a second. So I finally figured out how to use these. You use them together. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't register with me. It literally said three steps, but there were four products, meaning two products has to be the same step. And that's the case. It threw me off because on the to use, one says AM and PM. The other one says just step two it doesn't even have like directions so when you use it a and pm it just says you know apply one to three times i don't do that which is why i needed the tea tree oil i'm too lazy for that so i do now that i know i do have rose water but now that i'm gonna start getting into serums when i'm i'm gonna start getting into serums um i'm gonna probably just dilute my tea tree one and turn that into a serum itself because it's literally only a little bit oil left. But yes, I finally figured out how to use these two. You use them together. You go in with the acne control, rapid release spot treatment, and that's step two. I actually put that over my entire face because my whole face is bumpy. But like for the most part, I really you just put it on the bumps. I put I make sure to emphasize the bumps, but for the most part, I put it on the whole face. And then you go in with the resurfacing treatment. Have no idea how this works, but I will tell you this, you guys. It is thick and it's a weird consistency because when I put it on my face, you do I can't rub it. If I rub it, it starts to create like After watching the video, I have found out that it is in fact dead skin. 
I don't know if it's dead skin, but it starts to create these. I don't know. How do you explain it? So then I'm okay. We'll just pat it. So when I pat it in, it doesn't do that right till I go in with the sunscreen. And I will talk highly about this sunscreen. I really will. So these is all that I've used this morning. So the only thing I'm going to keep these in the regimen and I'm going to alternate between my turmeric soap and the actual cleanser for this. So the cleanser for this, I will say all of these products are really, I'm not gonna say really, really good, but I'm gonna say all of these products are good. Will I recommend these products to you? No, I won't. And I'm going to tell you why. It's simple. The price. I am the girly that I feel like we are being overcharged. The beauty industry overcharges you. Um, the most I'm really win willing to spend on the product depends on how long it lasts for me. The cleanser is a good product, but it's not something that I'm worth. I don't even know how much the cleanser costs. But I looked at the acne treatment, the the um, the acne treatment and the resurfacing treatment. They cost more than tea tree oil. I'm just gonna use tea tree oil, you know. And then the clay mask. That's my favorite part. Is the clay mask. I add salicylic acid in it and I add the tea tree oil in it. But last night when I did the clay mask, I did not. I just did regular clay mask. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an attempt, especially when my when especially when my cycle comes, when it's that time of the month for me, I'm gonna make it a period to use the clay mask every single day. And then I also have a turmeric jelly mask that I incorporate into my routine as well. I will say the Aztec works wonders, especially when I mix in the tea tree oil and the salicy the sal salicylic acid. So I will say everything that I'm using is working in some kind of fashion in some kind of way. If your face is kind of like mine, and I feel like a lot of people don't say this, yes, it takes time, but if you kind of want to speed up the process, you got to burn your face a little bit. <laughs> now, although that sounds bad, think of it like you're getting a chemical pill. I noticed three things that's helped me. Double cleansing, rinsing my face off with cold water, and drying my face with a fan. So next to the Aztec clay mask, here are my favorite three products at the moment. Two of these are like staples, okay? So Noxzema is going to be my oil-based deep cleansing. This deep cleanser removes makeup, and removes excess oils, and penetrates your skin. A1, top tier. The next staple, y'all, well pal, I, do I have to say anything? I really feel like if you're watching my video, you've seen this used somewhere before. But this is a staple. This Mary Kay pink clay mask is the mother freaking bomb, y'all. Like, it. when I tell you it dries out your pores, it dries your face out, but it doesn't leave you like, your moisture is still there. But yeah, so I'm gonna see you guys next week and I'll keep you updated on what I've done and what I've been doing. All right, y'all, let's get into this night routine. So I have this night gleam sitting on my face. I let it sit on my face for about five minutes just to get all of it in. And while it's sitting, I'm just going to clean my product. Cause y'all, I watched a video that talked about a few things you should do if you have acne. And one of those things was clean your products. So I said, bet. After I wipe the Noxzema off, I'm going in with the cleanser and then I'm going to use my exfoliating pad. I literally exfoliate every day with this pad, you guys, with my cleanser. It doesn't fail. And then, of course, I'm going in with my fan. So, in this, so instead of using ice, I just use cool air. Then, of course, we got the clay mask. Um, I mix it with equal parts apple cider vinegar and the clay and then I put a little bit of my tea tree oil salicylic uh, salicylic acid and one of my toners in there to kind of dilute the tea tree oil. I mixed a little one pump of that into there into the mask and it really works so good and yes I covered my whole face and then after I let that sit for about 20 to 30 20 20 to 30 minutes so I went ahead and rinsed it off and so I also in that video it was like you know we wasting our toners with the pads but y'all I think I'm gonna use cotton balls with my toners but I went in with my toner and then my niacinamide serum and then we went in with the needy greedy the step two of the kit and y'all I used the last bit of the salicylic acid 
Um, that's why it's cut open. I used the last bit of that. It's really good. We'll talk about that um, next week. We'll talk about that later. Then after that, I went in with the resurfacing treatment. And y'all, that's about gone too. I cut I had to cut that open. So I got about a little bit left out of that. Then I went ahead and went in with my nighttime moisturizer. And then I went, um, you know, massaged that all in. And then the lip. And that's the whole nighttime routine, y'all. Hi, y'all. All right, y'all. So it has officially been 30 days. So I wanted to come on here with my face not washed just to show y'all, like, the true. Even though I guess that really wouldn't be true, but it really would. I haven't cleaned my face today, and this is as oily as it's gotten. So I think that's really, really good. Um, as you see, this is my face. It's a mask on my face, and it's like my spot treatment because I'm not gonna do pimple patches, and I have so many products in here that are known to suck up the moisture from the pimple. So, yeah. Maybe one day when I like ran out of everything, I'm like, oh my God, I need pimple patches. Okay, maybe. I keep saying blackheads, and I most definitely mean acne scars. But anyways, that's what's on my face. That's the pink stuff on my face. But looking at my blackheads, those are still there. But what do we not see, guys? We don't see a lot of acne. What I will say is my acne was controlled. Let's go ahead and rate all of the products. Here's my empty box. <laughs> now, for one, will I actually recommend that you go and buy this kit? No, I will not. There is so many cheap acne things that you can get that actually work versus you going and spending i think this this kit was it retailed for 13 dollars for a reason because it's overpriced if you can get something for cheaper and it's not on a sale that means it's nine times out of ten it's just overpriced i'm gonna give the cleanser a 10 out of 10. now i will say if you got the money to splurge and you just want to skip over all the other good cheap options yeah go get the cleanser it's really really good I love the way it tingles. I love the way it smells. And when I tell you, it cleanses. So I, I'm, a, I'm a firm believer that if I'm cleansing my face, especially if I'm exfoliating and a pimple does not show a little bit of blood, I'm doing something wrong. That cleanser, it's going to suck all that moisture out of all any pimple you have. It's going to suck the moisture out. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, but it's not something I would recommend. <laughs> all right so for step two we have the spot treatment and we have the resurfacing treatment um i will say i'm gonna go ahead and give the spot treatment the, the salicylic acid the two the point two percent if i'm not mistaken hold on it's on the back the two percent oops the two percent the, the, the two percent salicylic acid i'm going to give that a I think I'm being, I feel really generous, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because when you actually use it how it's supposed to be used, it's really good. But so the product itself, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because I just didn't use it right. So I can't, I can't give it a rating like I want to because I didn't actually use it right. But based on how I did use it and the fact that it did work, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Now, will I recommend? Again, it's one of those things I will not recommend. Just go get you some tea tree oil or put some clay on your face like I'm doing. But it's a good spot treatment. Or go get you another spot treatment. Go to your dermatologist or just make sure that you, you have a good routine down. Because in all actuality, it's really just your routine. The resurfacing treatment, I would give that a 0 out of 10. That's for two reasons. I'm not even, For one, I know I probably did not use it right. For two, it probably did work because the acne didn't resurface as bad as it could have. But I still had acne. It wasn't like it just never brought the acne back. Like, if y'all see this right here, this wasn't here before. I was using the stuff and then this came up and then I was putting this, this, the 2% the, the salicylic acid on there. Then I went back with the resurfacing treatment. And this is what I'm left with. It's gone down. I will say it's gone down a lot. And like I said, I'm going to... We're going to work on my acne scars because that's what my issue is. No, but I do want to find me a good institution one day. One day. And then step three is the sunscreen. And I'm going to give that a 100 out of a 10. Okay? I'm going to give that a 1,000 out of 10. Okay? I'm going to say a 1,000 out of 10. Um, I'm going to talk highly about the, the sunscreen. Like, I'm going to talk real highly 
of that sunscreen. For one, not only is it a sunscreen, it's a moisturizer. And it's one that controls the mess out of your oils. When I tell you I'm not oily throughout the day, I've never seen my face not oily throughout the day. And it's a sunscreen on top of that. So it actually helps protect your dark spots from getting darker. Overall, I'll give the kit a 9 out of 10. And I will say I'm being fairly generous with my judgment because the acne wasn't really my biggest issue. It's really my dark spot. So, um, but it did, like when I did have acne pop up, like I don't know what happened. I don't know if I was just purging, but I had real, it was really bad right here. It was so big, you guys. It was so big. And then I know the tea tree oil probably don't make it any better because I've been trying to use that as like a chemical pill. But yeah, you guys. So that is this video on the Marad Acne Control 30 Day Trial Kit. I will not recommend that you go and get this product, but I will say that it is an amazing product, that there are amazing ingredients. But if you can find cheaper dupes, then I would just get that instead. And if I'm being completely honest in all actuality, this is really all you need. You really just need three three main products in your routine. You just need your cleanser, you need your treatment, and then you need your sunscreen slash moisturizer. You just need those three things. Everything else is just a marketing tactic. Go ahead and continue to follow along my journey because I'm going to be on the journey to clear skin. Once I get my skin together, I'm going to work back on my hair because um, I'm also on the journey for that as well. It's colored, but I feel like as a cop, as a license, as a cosmetologist, you just got to know what you're doing. I hope that you guys, if you have already to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay tuned on my journey because we're, we're going to get some clear, we're going to get the skin cleared out. Okay, we're going to get this, we're going to get the skin cleared out. So I will say I'm thinking about I got the Dow soap. Uh 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me. I got the Dow soap, so I'm gonna try that out. Um, I don't know for how long yet. I said it's like a month. But you really can't see a difference until you try something out for three months. So that's fun. Anyways, while I'm working on my diet, we're gonna just be using the products that I have here at the house and then we're gonna just go from there. Don't shoot the messenger, please, 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 don't shoot me. <laughs> But basically my morning routine is literally just a simplified version of my night routine because I feel like the most important routine is actually your night routine. Um, if you don't do anything in the morning but just cleanse, tone, and put your sunscreen, your sunscreen moisturizer on, you're really good to go. I will say this, I've been toning, but your toner is actually supposed to be your treatment as well. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of just want to mix the two, like mix my toner and my niacinamide, and I'm going to see what happens. So I'm going to play around with that, yada, yada, yada. But anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and your girl is back. I'm going to I'm gonna be back, okay? I'm going to be back. I say this every time, and I'm going to try to be for real. No, I'm just lying. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more.